Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. And a video today from Replicant Fish. Women feel powerless that men aren't obsessed with them anymore. <laughs> Single women of TikTok. Please actually subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Women feel powerless. I feel like she Powerless. That men aren't obsessed with them anymore. But it's very easy as a man not to be. I mean, a lot of women give themselves away very freely. It's for everyone. Once she's everybody's girl, I mean, she's nobody's. Ours. She's ours. Obsessed with what? With three pieces of chicken. Why is it that the person that you literally couldn't care about, they're obsessed with you, but the person that you actually fantasize about is ghosting you and leaving you on red? No one cares. Exactly. In man terms, it's like a man being in love with a chick who doesn't give an F about him. Stop running! I loved her, but she loved someone else. <laughs> Stop running! <laughs> then he ends up simping, crying, mm. whimpering. Desperation for pussy. <laughs> But this is in woman terms. A woman being obsessed with a man. Is ghosting you and leaving you on. Man doesn't care. He doesn't give an F about her. One of many chicks. Shrimp tacos? Yes. Where's she going anywhere? No. Because she is obsessed with him. Just this one last time. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, it's beautiful. You and leaving you on red is the law of detachment. And the second you master the law of detachment, which you will during this video, you're going to have that person crawling after you. If you don't know what the law of detachment is, it's basically the idea that anything you chase in life will run away. Ah, yes. The law Makes of sense. not giving an F. Woo! Pew, pew! Yeah, woman, I don't care about you. Surprised you haven't left. Yeah, good woman. Go make me a crap sandwich that I'll choke down to make mm, you feel good. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Stop running! But indeed, this is where a lot of men fall off because a lot of men become too obsessed with certain chicks or women in general. True. Hoo-ah! It's delicious. Hoo-ah! Then wonder, like, yo, they keep falling and slipping through my hands. Bitchless. Yeah, ease off, bro. Ease off. Slow down! You make a lot of women feel more special than they actually are. Face in life will run away. And the more you convince yourself that you need something, that something is above you or unattainable, the further that thing will literally be for me. So mm. the way you are going to call this person in so fast by using law of detachment, you're going to flip the script. First of all, you put this person on the pedestal, idealizing them, telling yourself you need this person to be happy, to be satisfied. You need them. You're going to flip the script and tell yourself you don't need them. Lie. What a lovely woman. Good lie. You face. don't need them. Good lie to tell to yourself. However, on a lot of women, this does not work, does it? No, it doesn't. No, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. It's beautiful that it doesn't work on a lot of women because a lot of women do need to chase. Stop running! Do you need to pursue. When a man is too in love with a woman, for a lot of women, they crumble. They fall apart. They're not used to it. No, 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 no. There are many reasons men have learned not to be obsessed with women. But one key reason and point is she, her, will continue to seek and chase your validation, acceptance, yeah. your love. Yeah. Are you wish woman? I need it. I don't love you. <laughs> Yeah, but keep hoping. Keep hoping if you're lucky. I might like you. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, that's, that's too far. <laughs> they need you. Look at yourself. Like, let's remember who you are for a second. They should be worshipping you. Worshipping you. And that needs to be the mindset. Okay, that's a little much. Nobody should be worshipping anybody. And if you guys think that women or even people should be worshipping you, you might have a fucking complex. You are a catch. Okay? You are someone who should be chased after. You can practice my love letter. No, you guys aren't catches until you become a catch. You guys have to work at it. You just don't all of a sudden talk to yourself. <laughs> catch no fucking idiots you gotta go work on yourself get to the fucking gym start making more money i know it's not easy to make more money but th this is how you want to play the game this is how the game gets played properly if you want to play the game you play to win this is where i think people don't don't gamify life enough i gamify everything i gamify youtube i gamify things that i do outside i gamify my jobs why? Because I want to be better. I want to be the best at that game. I want to be the best at that field or whatever it is. Capitalism. If you don't want to play into capitalism's hands, you're going to be fucked. You're not going to have money. Guess what? To be a good person in capitalism, you have to start using capitalism on your, to make it to your advantage. That's how I've seen it. People that have the money that became capitalists are the ones that are truly free out there. You have that fuck you money.
method to really detach because you're completely flipping the script and i have a guided meditation for the love letter method okay and as a man listen that's the way you need to see it and how a lot of men have learned to see it they should be worshipping you to not be obsessed with women anymore drizzle, drizzle. Yeah. not only is it pointless it's clear a lot of men have sinned because a lot of men have experienced and see other men experiencing it hey i can get the most out of women by being there being yep. present but giving her less of me mm. yeah go make me another crap sandwich to choke down <laughs> but really start convincing yourself they need you not the other way around they want you they need you they desire you they're gonna chase after you in your dream what benefit do you get as a man being obsessed with women divorced <laughs> Of course, enjoying their company, spending time with them. Obsession? No, that's too much. That's nope. too much. Powerless. The thing is, like, I do know my worth, but sometimes there's a sale. Mm. There's a discount. There's like a 50% off. Yeah, only for the Chads and Tyrones, us normies. Ain't no sale for us. It's almost double the price, actually. <laughs> that's not enough. It's a budget chick. I like this chick. She knows her worth. Appropriately cheap. One of many. That's not enough. Should be 25% off. Easy woman. Easy. Easy. You're 50%. But yeah, what a lovely woman. You know? You know? You don't need them. Need them. Attention is currency to women. But in reverse, them seeking it. Ah, that's uh, another form of currency, isn't it? It's delicious. But I hope you're doing well. Hope you're focused and on your square. The boys. Ah, the boys. The boys. Damn good show. Weird AF. Yes. Controversial AF. Yes. I like the show. Good AF. But the main point, Homelander, his obsession with being obsessed over. I'm better. Having the public, humans, regular human beings that he sees as sheep, cattle. I am better. His want for them to be obsessed with him because he knows as a man, no matter how powerful he is physically, for the public to love him. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's fueling his insanity. But understand, Clout is a hell of a drug. We like the Homelander is pretty much the embodiment of the younger generation of how much he wants to be loved, how much he wants everybody to be under him and praise him and all that. And that's what most of the younger generation really wishes for, especially when they go after you know the social media influencer type careers. In normal everyday terms, women have been used to that insane level of obsession, haven't they? From men. Better. So understand how weak they would feel, how powerless they would feel if men turned that off, if men stopped being and were no longer obsessed with them. What would they do? The number one habit of a confident man, he doesn't give away his time for free. See exactly. this pen right here? It was given to me for free at a conference. Mm. Now, I can't tell you how many of these types of pens I've been given, and I have no clue where they are. Cheap is cheap. There's a woman getting pens. <laughs> getting a lot of pens. There's a joke there, but let's mm, not. I was going to say. <laughs> In fact, if I've lost this pen, I would probably never notice. On the other hand, I would immediately notice if I lost this pen. It's real mm. silver. It's heavy. You can change the cartridge from the inside. <laughs> and it matches your top. Most importantly, I bought it myself. Both of these mm. pens achieve the same outcome, which is that they let me write something. Correct. But why is it that I value this one so much more? Okay, we see where she's going, obviously. <laughs> so let's add some mansplaining, some real quality mansplaining. I need here, some here. help. Woof woof, as men, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to what this lovely, lovely woman saying <laughs> with her cheap and quality pen you see where a lot of men get it confused is they become obsessed they don't understand the power in in women being obsessed and how obsessed a lot of women can be and are and that is somewhat dangerous to a degree but the point is some men wonder why other men treat women awful and get the most out of them and it's simply because of what she's saying i value this one so much more yeah. you see a lot of men that don't care would seem confident to certain women because he doesn't care about her. He doesn't care about the outcome of the woman. <laughs> like the cheap pen <laughs> she's using as an example. If this man has a cheap pen, it's like cheap pen. I don't care if I lose you or not cheap pen. True. Being a woman, why would he need to treat the cheap pen chick? It's a cheap pen chick, please. <laughs> why should he treat her good? It's like, no woman, <laughs> the quality is not high enough. Still good though. No, how dare you? And this is how so many men 
move through dating. I yeah. am better! A lot of other men don't seem to grasp that perspective there. That a lot of men aren't, please, men don't care about that woman. All acting is an art. She's there though. I mean, she's, I mean, she's a comfortable, warm place to rest his knob. It's not good, not advice, <laughs> but hey. I'm not leaving. She's there. Yeah, yeah, some quality, garage. restable wap. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, the power is them being obsessed. <laughs> Not you. Men being obsessed causes men to simp. Men being True. obsessed turns you as a man into that cheap crappy pen <laughs> that a yep. woman can discard and disregard. It's like, woman, you wish. I'm a I, I really like this episode. No, it really shows in this sets of videos. Yes, simping does not work, guys. Stop putting these women on pedestals. Stop thinking that they're better than you. They're not. They're the same as you. Maybe even worse than you. Majority of these women are, are broke, musty, dusty, crusty women. That's why they need a man like you. So keep working on yourself. Fucking, you know, go to the gym, eat healthy, get your body right, get your mind right, get your pockets right, and you get to do whatever you want, men. Pretty much. A pen you can't even afford. The pen is it's just a pen. And that's how a man should see himself. Doesn't matter about the woman. Damn right. Obsessed with you for what? I'm obsessed with me. Because mm. I had to work for it. Confident men know that, which is why they don't just give away their time for free. They exactly. hold themselves in high regard and are not afraid of making a woman work for their attention. Exactly. What a lovely woman. The pen matching her top. What a lovely, vibrant, radiant woman. Work for their attention. Work for my attention, woman. But I can be better. Because a lot of men have realized Nowadays, the quality of women aren't even worth being obsessed over. A lot of them are just spreading themselves everywhere. A lot of them are just multiple baby mothers for like whatever reason. Then blame men. It's like, woman, didn't you, why didn't you stop? I'm so lonely. It's like, okay, whatever. A lot of women are street material. <laughs> Not even saying it to be rude. A lot of them want to be so. So it's like, as a True. man, what sane man is going to be obsessed with women nowadays? I'm not talking about just women as human beings in humanity and we need women for the human race. Not that. I'm talking about in terms of dating and relationships and love and marriage and whatever. Why? You sort of have to be a naive knob of a man. As Butcher would say, Big and like a right. Have you ever noticed that men get obsessed with you when you ignore them? Or like how your boyfriend will suddenly start acting right if he thinks you're mad at him? Apparently there's science behind this. I linked a video below that goes further into it, but basically both men and women have two love hormones. For women, it's oxytocin and Correct, dopamine. For men thing. Okay, yeah, we know this. Let's let her open her eyes so she can see what I'm saying. The point is, the reason this works so well on women is because it's part of their programming as well. You True. see, you simply use flip the script on women. And a lot of men have realized not only is it pointless, Bruh. but the benefit men have in not giving women so much power, your attention as a man, your want for her, for them as a man. A lot of men have no idea how powerful that is. That's why they give it away. I tell you guys that all the time. The power to walk away is so powerful for men. It gives you this confidence. It tells you that you don't need them. It tells you they're useless to you. If really, obviously, simps are going to always lower the bar. Get a backbone. But it's like women know they have no power over a man that isn't obsessed with them. Thus, Correct. in reverse, they become obsessed with him in seeking pew, pew. his validation. Yeah. Oh. It's not good again, but on a smaller and broader scale. It's pointless as a man to be obsessed with women. That's not to ignore or avoid them. Enjoy them. Shrimp tacos. But Enjoy. obsessed. That's too far. Oxytocin and Wrap that shit up though. Dopamine. For men, it's oxytocin and vasopressin. Vasopressin. Black magic. Basically, vasopressin is a hormone that's released when men feel stressed. Meaning when you stress them out, it releases this love hormone, which means that it makes them love you more. That is so sad. Now, I'm not saying to utilize this information. I just want you to have it. Deception. Lies. lies. No, yes, she is. Yes, she is lies. a typical, modern, destructive woman. Chaos. Teaching her fellow girlies chaos. Chaotic lessons to destroy and ruin a man. Yeah, yeah I do it too for you guys. Hide it in other things. <laughs> ruin a man. Poor men. And this is why you're a fool to be obsessed with the modern woman. They know you're weak for being so. What I am saying is tonight's date night with my boyfriend. And I, I was thinking this shirt might be 
a good outfit choice. Yo, wicked! Wow. I just know it's their top. A good outfit choice. <laughs> just kidding. The power of confidence oh, fucking when you don't care. Because in many cases, the less you care, the more you get. True. The pen is it's just a pen. Shout out to Ripple Fish. No, he's 100% correct. When I was younger in my blue pill days, before I got married, that's how exactly I was. Now, I, yeah, I'm pretty ignoring of women. I don't really chase after them. It's just I have other shit to do. Women are such a drain on money and resources and time. It's almost don't even really want to mess with it half the time. Please subscribe them below. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.